Hello everyone, welcome to Feudal Wars. This is a browser RTS game. It is fairly light. And as you can see it looks it looks a little bit like Stronghold or Age of Empires, but it's overall not too complicated a game. Uh, you have your army here, you've got your stronghold. There's a bunch of other strongholds on the map and your goal is to take those over. We play as the English, so we've got a, a bonus to, to longbow longbow damage. And you can you can have these these strongholds here. You take over more of them. You can take over these these neutral ones, and then they will be turned into more strongholds here. They produce units. They produce gold. You use more buildings to build more stuff here. So this isn't really too deep, but actually I think it looks quite appealing. I'm not quite sure whether these are custom assets for this game, but in any case, it looks actually quite nice, and it's it works quite well. I, I did have trouble. Are you guys stuck there? I think you are. Never mind. And ooh, we can upgrade this. Well, we could if we if we actually had any any resources to do that. But now that we have another stronghold here, we possibly can do that in the future. Yeah, the game generally runs quite well. It's occasionally it stutters a little bit, but that's okay. And I did have trouble matching with any human players, but oh well. The details. For now, let's just give this a shot. I'm playing against the medium AI. There's a couple of different factions you can play as. You can play as the English, the French. Teutonic Order, Castile, I think Venice, and the Holy Roman Empire, which is apparently distinct from the Teutonic Order, which I guess you may or may not consider to be accurate. It doesn't really matter. I mean, I guess in the context of this game here, it should, should really be fine. We are, we're going to leave these guys here for now. How expensive was that again? Yeah, let's upgrade that. I guess this will either now produce more archers or better archers. I'm okay with both. Let's just punch this building here until it kneels over and turn it into another stronghold. I guess this game does get most interesting if you play against several players because here it's essentially just me or them, so I have to try to, to get as many strongholds as possible. And that's good for me. I can build other buildings here as well. I can build a, a castle, watchtowers, a walls and stuff, but it seems that because your resources are kind of limited, you are best served with just building more more of the basic buildings for now. I've played only one one quick match before this, so so there's that. And for now, let's just save up more buildings. We can maybe build some some pikemen here. And we should probably upgrade our archery range as well because we do get a bonus to to our longbowmen. I'm not quite sure that only goes for the actual third here that that are called longbowmen. Computers capture castle. Oh dear, we don't want that. So let's capture these. Let's try to go for these four castles here if we can. And let's also upgrade this one here once we can actually do that, which is going to be soon. You can join me here and you shoot shoot this castle here. Yeah, this is ultimately still a browser game, so don't expect the next the next Edge of Empires here. But for what it is, it's free to play. You can apparently like create an account and 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 play ranked and keep track of your your progress and whatnot. For that it's I guess it's it's good enough. I'm going to give this a little bit, uh, bit of a shot. Something tells me this is not going to occupy me for too long, but you know what? For what it is, uh, I guess it's I guess it's fine. And I think the look is quite appealing. As I said before, I'm not quite sure whether these are custom assets or they are lifted from somewhere else or purchased. And it doesn't really matter too much. Let's save up a little more money for for maybe another archery range or so. I think we're on the winning side here. I'm not quite sure whether all the... Weren't you guys supposed to come over here? Never mind. Whether all the, the castles the computer has are always indicated or whether... I could build a watchtower here as well. Maximum army size increased. We like that. Oh, and there comes the AI, but that's okay. Let's just have them run to me. Or maybe have my guys just meet them in the field. I'm pretty sure we have more guys than they have, so that should be... So this should should result in our victory. Maybe let's have them run. Oh, they've got they've got pikemen. You know what? Let's build another another barracks. Here. Well, say another barracks. They don't really have a barracks in the first place. And what what are you doing here? Were you attacking that? Were you attacking my building? If you were, you shouldn't have done that. But never mind. Anyway, die purple troops. So that was that was kind of the strongest insult I I had here for for the moment. Let's get you over here as well, and then 
let's gather our army and attack the next stronghold. We should probably attack our red stronghold first because the neutral ones aren't really all that important once we... Can we afford that? We can. And then let's upgrade you again. We can afford that as well. So how expensive is the last upgrade here? Oh wait, this... Oh, this only has two upgrades because we start on the first, first here, obviously. And oh, they've got more forces here as well, but that's okay, because we've got longbows. Which of course are superior, because they're Welsh longbows, except when they're English longbows, but... Again, details. And it seems not everybody wants to attack here, but that's okay. Or maybe you guys got, just got spawned by the castle here and didn't really pay attention to that. That could very well be the case. I'm pretty sure we've won this now, because we did... Oh yeah, this just disappears. I thought I, I could take this over, but never mind. Anyway, let's kill you. Or maybe let's just, just go for their, for their stronghold immediately. And do it like this. And more archers, yes please. And then let's see whether I can upgrade this. Well, I should probably just finish building it first. I'm pretty sure I got this now because I doubt that they will recover from that one, that one heroic battle we had there. There we go, and especially now, oh, or maybe they will, because then that's a lot of troops. But it's okay, let's build a tower here as support. Let's, let's just have everyone duke it out here. I wish there was a way to just concentrate your troops a little bit better. Maybe there is, and I've just not seen it. Uh, I'm, I'm okay with that, let's just upgrade you right away, and let's have you gather here as well. It seems like I won that encounter. I'm okay with that. Of course, and then let's gather more troops here. There probably is a gather button somewhere and I just haven't found it, but again, uh, details. So expensive that upgrade, can't afford that yet, but that's fine. But what we are going to do is just gather everyone here and ooh, you even take formation, sweet. Yes, you can see the game occasionally just, uh, just stutters a little bit, but that's ultimately fine. I'm just going to t try and take Red's last strong stronghold and not bother with the other neutral neutral strongholds for now. Can always get those later. Let's upgrade you because I can. Or, well, I guess we're out of money now, but that's fine too. Alright, it's, it's now or never. They have some troops here, but they seem to be basic, so I wouldn't be able to worry about that too much. And it seems we can kill about half of them before they even reach us. Sweet. And... Yeah, there we go. Then let's kill their production facilities, which apparently are being upgraded. Or still being built, one of the two. Doesn't really matter. And then let's go for it. Can I just build towers anywhere? No, I guess... Oh, there's a, there seems to be a build radio, so that's fine. And wow, you guys didn't even bother to, to march up here. That's okay, we're going to do that now. And these crossbowmen, they do have pretty sweet range. In fact, do they out I don't think they outrage the castles. That would be a bit too good, I guess. Then again, you have to pay dearly to upgrade them at all, so I guess there's that. Anyway, time for this castle to fall, and then this match should be ours. And there we go. Sweet. So it seemed... Oh, Red was actually leading for a while. But then, guests 6, 2, 9, 7, 2, 3 carried through and victory was ours yeah you've captured all enemy castles we have indeed and yeah economy that was to expect it overall we have got we've got more points and that's what ultimately is important yeah as you can see it's kind of a nice game it's it's not too deep to be honest and it's not terribly original but for one for what it wants to do i guess it's fine anyway thanks for watching and, and i shall see you next time and i think if you play this again we're probably going to go up against against more guys Take care. Bye.